Hi folks, we are back on the lime repointing. We're on the west wall. We started this last year when we had all the scaffolding up to the roof. Now we've got to do the bulk of it from the tower. It should be okay. We've done a lot of the prep already. You might have seen that in the previous videos. It's all raked out. I'll show you that once we're up there. Well, I switched to the GoPro because we're bound to drop a camera off there. Let me show you all the stuff we're going to be using. So I've got a little SDS in case I need to do a bit more chipping out. But we've done most of it already. Big SDS and a paddle mixer so we can mix up in a bucket. A couple of little trowels just so we can point in nice and deep. Some gloves, safety specs, bucket trowel and some more hammer and chisel to rake out any final small bits we've missed. So the mortar we're using is this one here, W20. It's kind of designed for North Somerset um, lime mortars that originally had kind of bits of coal and stuff in them. And this has got something similar to that. I'll show you some when we get up on the scaffolding. Right, so we've gone over and raked out all the last little bits. We are about 30, 40 mil deep in places, 20, 25 mil minimum. And everything is washed out now. So that's to dampen down the mortar and the stone so that we don't dry out too quick with the mortar, but also it helps flush out all the loose stuff. That was a success. England just won the football. Now we can get on with the bashing. Most of this is at a point now where I can barely get a nail into it. So I'm just bashing it in with this churn brush, forcing it into all the joints, brushing anything loose down, and then we'll just keep misting it over the next few days. The reason for bashing it back like that is a couple of reasons really you're forcing it back into the joint as it starts to shrink as it dries you can sometimes end up with tiny little cracks in it 
but what we're doing is forcing it back in by whacking it but also it starts to reveal some of the aggregate and the texture in here so when we brush this back dry in the morning it'll be set just back from the surface of our stone and we'll have all this natural aggregate which is more like the old stuff but of course far better than the actual cement that was covering it all question is do we go and watch sweden play football or do we go and paint a wall i know what i should be doing i should be putting my feet up i'm not very good at that right we're back on day two kind of two and a half of our lime repointing and this is how far we've got we've got our tower scaffold from the eaves down to the bottom we're going to do the bottom couple of courses right at the end once everything's out of the way will's mixing up the next batch we're going to make a start and hopefully get another whole strip of the ball done today so this is what i picked up yesterday it's uh i'm not going to stick my finger in there but it's relatively soft the other stuff that we had stored over winter that had gone quite firm in the bag but it's amazing you without adding any water at all as soon as you start knocking it up again it just goes nice and creamy and easy to use anyway let's have a look at the pointing itself we'll go up the top in a minute this is what was done yesterday and we just come in and bashed it back with the brush so it's nice and compact into the joints and then we'll give another brush a bit later on when it's dry, uh, drying off a bit. But we want to really control how quick this is drying. And you can see up there, where is it? Over there, all the hessian is just hooked out the way. That's damp, that hessian that's hanging all the way down, covering all this, trying to keep it away from the sun, nice and damp. Uh, we want to, this is slower the better really, as far as uh, the line goes. One area we're spotting is drying much quicker is next to the coins at these corner stones. For some reason, it's kind of drawing the moisture out more. So we're trying to keep these nice and damp. So you can see where we stopped there. We're just working on the width of the tower at a time. We're gonna shift the tower as far that way as it can go before it hits that flat roof section. So this is first batch, been up three days. Make sure there's nothing loose from the stones. This is really just all about keeping it down. We'll rehang these hessian out now. All I've done is just put a couple of vine eyes in there. And we can always plug that afterwards. This back here is actually last year's and it's gone pretty hard. And even when it's gone rock solid like this, we don't need to add any water. We just beat the living daylights into it. The interesting thing is the actual dry stuff that's back into the wall, that's been there 120 years, can actually be reused in the same way. You can, you can rake it out as long as it's not been mixed in with any like rubble or cement as long as it's just the mortar which is easy enough it just knocks out it's nice and loose you can uh, you can mix that down with some extra lime putty and reuse that so i learned that yesterday I mean, I'm making a bit of a mess here because I'm in an awkward position, but you can kind of see the, the process. We're just tucking it in. And then really forcing it into all the gaps. This stone just doesn't mark up like it would with red brick. And any bits that are on the edge of the stone really don't stain because it's basically the same color. Otherwise you end up with white marking all the way around like a little halo. 
But I've gone ahead and bashed the top, brushed it down, dampened it. I need to go and get more hefty and I think I'll have to roll up in the loft from when we did the top section. Uh, we've got this one over here and that's dampened down. Will's nipped off to get his haircut. A haircut? Oh, it's a haircut. It's been a long time since I had one of them. Anyway, if Will comes back in time, we're going to take down the scaffolding and move it back up onto the roof. This section can then be done from the floor. As you can see, it's really accessible here. And I haven't introduced Will. Will's been giving me a hand for about two or three years and loads of people are asking. Jo's been uh, saying that Will's putting the couple into restoration couple lately. She's probably right. Whilst Jo's busy inside dealing with orders and editing and her business, Will's been giving me a hand um, a day or sometimes two days a week when he's not at college or whatever. So uh, that's been nice, not talking to myself to a camera all the time. Just need to do a bit more securing, get this one pinned in and try and keep that corner nice and damp. Right, well that is it, covered, much better than it was. And as soon as they're wet, then they actually, not stick to the wall, but they, ha they hang much better. There we go, that is the first half of the wall done. We're now busy working on the second half. That'll be a future video, but before that, the next episode that comes out will actually feature Joe from Limebase because when I went down to pick up some more mortar, I gave him a bit of an on-the-spot interview and found out some of the uh, top tips and hints for doing what we're doing so you can get all the expert advice next time. If you've got any questions on what we're doing, stick them down below. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.